friends welcome back to arduino basic course i am engineer manoj kavedia as you all know and uh, the topic which will be discussing in this video is liquid crystal display for short form is lcd now before going to that friends to all my students those who are watching the videos and teachers i'm very much thankful to you for giving a huge response to my kavidia sir youtube channel and friends once again if you really like the content on this channel if they are worth and worth sharing please subscribe the channel hit the bell so that you get the notification of my new videos and surely share the information so friends now not wasting your more time let's move to what is lcd now liquid crystal display as the name says it's a display so it's an output device and it can display information now how it displays the information so it displays the information in a dot of pixels now that dot may be by 5 by 7 or 5 by 8 but this lcd is having two rows and 16 columns that what is also called as 16 by 2 and there are multiple combinations available in this there may be uh, 8 by 1 8 by 2 10 by 2 16 by 1 20 by 4 and so on so the total number of character which this lcd can display is 32 and each character is made up of either 5 by 7 or 5 by 8 pixel dots so you can see here these are the total 16 columns in two rows so these are two rows and these are 16 columns now i've told you the single character pixel may be either 5 by 7 or 5 by 8 so there is total 40 dots so if i take 32 characters so 32 into 40 there are 1 2 8 0 that is 1280 pixels now the lcd has a number called as hd 44780 and this lcd has got many different commands and through that command we can pass on data in different ways to this lcd even on this lcd i can scroll the data towards left towards right and so on that will see in the example so friends let's see the pen diagram of lcd now this lcd has vss vdd vee rs that is register select rw that is read write e is enable and then d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and 7 and 8 that is d0 to d7 this pins are basically used for providing the data and led a and led k is for controlling the brightness of the led so let's see what is the descriptions vss is a ground pin vdd is connected to plus 5 volts and ve is connected to potentiometer which will control the brightness or the contrast of the lcd then there is register select which will select either the command register or the data register it is used to select command and data register then the next signal is read write signal this is uh, normally used to read or write the lcd so while writing the data i have to ground this signal so i can ground this signal because always my lcd is in write mode i rarely use my lcd in the read mode the next is enable signal so i can toggle this between 1 and 0 to enable my lcd then comes my pin number d0 to d7 that is the data pins now this all data pins can be used if my lcd is used in 8 bit modes and if uh, i'm using lcd in 4 bit mode i have to use only pin number 4 5 5 6 and 7 rest all are not used led positive and led negative are basically used to control the backlight display now as i've told you the led can work in two different modes one is called as 4 bit mode and other is called as 8 bit mode uh, in 4 bit mode data can be sent nibble by nibble so if it is 8 bit data i have to pass the first upper nibble and then the lower nibble now out of this eight data pins d0 to d3 and d4 to d7 
only d4 to d7 is used and we can pa pass all the data on that d4 to d7 in nibble by nibble mode so in this way i can send 8 bit of data but d0 to d3 lcd pins are not used you can see that in diagram now in 8 bit mode i'm using all 8 bits so the only thing is while using 8 bit modes i need more pins to interface with arduino and in 4 bit mode i need less pins but then in 4 bit mode i have to pass data byte by byte so it will take more time to pass the data whereas in 8 bit mode the complete data of 8 bit is passed in one shot let's see the interfacing diagram in 4 bit mode now in 4 bit mode d0 to d3 lcd pins you can see it is grounded whereas d4 to d7 pins are connected to the arduino whereas register select and enable are also connected to arduino So this is a diagram in 4 bit mode. So in 4 bit mode, this LCD 4 pins are connected. These are for brightness controls. This is register select, this is enable and this is write signal. And this potentiometer is basically used to control the brightness of the LCD. This green color what you can see and this little bit dark color, this brightness and contrast control is done with the help of this potentiometer. So now let's see the interfacing code of 4-bit. Now very first thing before going to interfacing, uh, let me inform you one thing that uh, while using this here, I have to use a header file called as liquidcrystal.h. Now this liquidcrystal.h will have all the functions which I need to work with LCD with Arduino. So to this function, I can have 10 arguments or 6 arguments. Now. 10 arguments when I'm using in 8-bit mode and 6 arguments when I'm using in 4-bit mode. Now what are these arguments? So let's see what are these arguments. To this LCD function I have to pass register select, enable, D4, D5, D6, D7. So in 4-bit mode I'll pass RS, EN, D4, D5, D6 and D7. Now in setup mode what I have to do but prior to going to setup I have to create the object of liquid crystal display that is LCD is the object of liquid crystal display class the liquid crystal class now LCD dot begin 16 by 2 so it says my LCD is of 16 columns and 2 rows the next is set cursor to 0 comma 0 so it will set the cursor to first cell that is first row first column that is called a 0 row and 0 column and it will display hello world so LCD dot print will display hello world so in uh, setup function i am initializing the lcd with lcd.begin then i am setting the cursor and then i am printing hello world now what happens in the loop in loop what i do i will write 0 comma 1 so i am setting the cursor to column 0 and line 1 so first parameter is a column and second parameter is line in set cursor first parameter is column and second parameter is line so in the second line it will print er manoj kavidia so on first line it will be hello world on second line it will be er manoj kavidia but both the time the column will be zero so i hope friends this uh, complete code is clear to you so let's see further what is in 8 bit mode so now in 8 bit mode what you can see is i have complete 8 pins for my interfacing same way LED plus LED minus for brightness, register select, enable and RW. But RW as I have told you it is grounded. So at least I need 10 pins of Arduino to interface my LCD in 8 bit. So let's see the code for 8 bit. So now in 8 bit, here I am using uh, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7 along with my RS, RW and EN. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 pins uh, of Arduino are used. Again in setup, I have to use LCD.begin 16,2, set cursor 0, 0,0 and LCD.print hello world. So what this will do, this basically will set up or initialize my LCD as in the case of, we have done in the case of 4 bit mode. Now the second is LCD dot set cursor 0 comma 1. 
and again it will print er manoj kavadia so output in both the cases will be same but the parameters which i am passing to my function of lcd previous case it was six parameters and this time are 11 parameters even i can pass 10 parameters there is no issue but always your first parameter is rs followed by the other parameters i hope this much is clear to you friends so let's see further another thing of lcd that is how to scroll the data from left to right or towards left so again i'm initializing the lcd now this time i've initialized the lcd in four bit mode you can see this is four bit mode again i'm uh, initializing the lcd with 16 by 2 now cursor first is set to 0 comma 0 and i'm displaying the message which is called as kaizen future tech so friends this kaizen future tech is my startup so all these courses or the certificates which you will get is from my startup called as kaizen future tech so the next is set the cursor to 0 comma 1 so i'll set the cursor to the second line and the zero column and i'll print er manoj kavedia and then after a delay of 750 milliseconds i'll write lcd dot scroll display left so it will start shifting the data on lcd and lcd dot set cursor 0 comma 0 so in this way i can use multiple functions and i can have multiple outputs on lcd so let's see what are the different functions which are available with liquid crystal class so first is home so it will move cursor back to the home position that is 0 comma 0 second clear it will blank the lcd so clear function what it will do it will blank the lcd then set cursor column comma row so when i say set cursor 1 comma 4 so on the first line it will display on the fourth column now second is enable display so it will enable the display show cursor uh, when it is set to true it will display the cursor so enable display it will dis if it is true it will enable the display show cursor when it is set to true it will display the cursor blink so turns off blinking of cursor turns on and off blinking of cursor so when it is set to true it will blink the cursor move left and move right moves the cursor towards left or right by one position set right to left set left to right set the cursor direction either left to right or right to left then auto scroll if auto scroll is set true then text will justify from the cursor and if it is set to false the text will left justify so when it is set to true it is right justify so true means right justify false means it is left justify and message that is text simply writes the message to the display so these are some more functions which are available with liquid crystal display now friends we'll see uh, let's see in the diagram different types of lcds uh, this is 20 by 2 characters this is into 4 characters it is 20 by 2 again it is into 4 now this is 8 into 2 so 8 characters will be displayed this is 20 by 4 so there are such multiple lcds available you can select which is required for your applications so for many different purposes lcds can be used like uh, in a dvd player it can be used to display the functions which track is being played what is the time and many more things if it's my home automation system it can show me the status of which sensors are on and which sensors are off even i can display the menu on lcd i can select the menus and many different options of my project so these are the many different applications of lcd Thank you friends, I hope uh, you might have understood what is liquid crystal display. This is uh, Manoj Kavidia. See you, thank you, stay safe, stay at home and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and also to share and hit the bell button.